Now we had some chance to practice that quadruped uh, plank position. We're going to make things a little bit more challenging by going to, to a modified plank position. For this plank position, all of those same principles apply. We're just extending our base of support. So we will go on to the elbows, and we, but we will keep our weight on our knee, knees, except you're just going to be a little bit further extended out. If you're not here yet, you can always go back to the quadruped practice, stay on your hands and knees, and just extend your knees a little bit from there to increase the difficulty. Uh, for this one, we go into our posterior pelvic shift, then we do our posterior pelvic tilt. Now, if you posterior pelvic tilt and feel at the same time you get into that uh, modified cow position, uh, or sorry, modified cat position where you have that rounded upper back, then simply hold your posterior pelvic tilt and see if you can get your rib cage to lift off of your abdomen and then you'll see that you get that nice long spine. Now it may be one of those things where as soon as you post your pelvic tilt and try to lift your rib cage you go back into that anterior pelvic tilt. So you're gonna have to play around with it but what we want is post your pelvic tilt rib cage elevated, nice long thoracic spine, and then from here, the belly button draws in as if you're putting on a tight pair of pants, and we hold this plank position. So you should feel your abdomen doing a fair amount of work. If you have a mirror to look into, you should see a nice straight spine down your back, no sagging in the low back, no over rounding in the upper back. We want that nice elongated straight spine. And then we hold from here. Now, if you feel yourself, you start out, everything's great, and then you feel or you see a sag happen, come down out of it. That's just your abdominal muscles telling you that they've they've worn out. Give them give them a break and then you can come back into that position.